What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we are going to learn how to play any PC games on Android. I hope you can see I'm playing GTA 5 on my Android phone with decent FPS and best quality. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. For your kind information, my device has just an entry level chipset but I can run these games with high definition and 60 FPS with the help of Mobox emulator. In this step by step tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to install the Mobox emulator, the setup process, graphic settings and best configuration, control customization and most importantly how to install PC games on the Mobox emulator. You can say it's a complete tutorial so don't skip watch the full video carefully, please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. Before we get started, please see the system requirement. It needs to run on your device. Make sure you have Android 10 or higher, at least 6 GB RAM, but 8 GB RAM is most recommendable, 4 GB free space. And if you have a Snapdragon chipset, that's very good, but Mali and other chipsets are also supported. Let's get into the installation process. Head over to the Mobox GitHub page. I have given the GitHub link in the description. On the download page, just slightly scroll down and you will see three application under the section of installation. Now we have to download and install Trimax, Trimax X11 and input bridge application which are necessary components to install and run Mobox on our Android phone. So download these apps one by one. Once you have downloaded the three app, install them gradually. If you are installing any application for the first time, it may ask you for permission allow yourself to install an unknown application so guys you can see i have successfully installed tarmax tarmax x11 and input bridge now launch the tarmax application and allow permission for notification here we need to give a command to start installation and the command we will get from the github page so go back to the github to copy the command just click on the copy button it will copy the code to your clipboard now return to the mobox and click and hold for a while then paste the install command and hit the enter button now it will say installing Talmax. It will ask you for permission. Just allow it so that it could use phone storage. It is now installing Talmax packages. Generally it takes 5 to 10 minutes so you just have to wait for it to get installed. This time we will do another step of graphics configuration by Tarmax X11. Back to the home screen, then click and hold on the Tarmax X11 application for a while. Then open preferences. Under the option of preference, you will find display resolution. Change the mode from native to exact. Change the display resolution to whatever you like. Remember that a higher resolution means it's going to run slower and a lower resolution means it's going to run faster. I prefer to use my default screen resolution which is 1280 by 720. Enable the stretch to fit display option. Enable full screen on the device display. One more thing I would like to disable the additional keyboard because I don't think we need it and it's look weird. Now return to the Talmax application. If you see it's still installing please don't quit the app and keep waiting until you see it to start type mobox. If you give the command mobox, it will start installing mobox on Tarmax. Finally, it's installing the mobox. It will take some time to get installed, maybe around 2 to 5 minutes, depending on the internet speed. We are now on the mobox interface. Here, you will find some options where you can manage packages. And there are also a lot of settings, but I don't want to touch them. Maybe another day, get back to the start of the wine and hit the enter key. 
immediately it will start booting. The first boot usually takes around 2 to 5 minutes for setting up divers. So guys, finally we are on the Mobox emulator. You can see it's loaded to the Windows system on my phone. Here you go to the start menu and choose the driver to install based on the compatibility of your device. Snapdragon GPUs support the DXVK version. For the Mali GPU, you can choose the Virtual GL. My recommendation is please go through all the drivers and find out the best one for you. Now let's install games on Mobox emulator. Go to the D drive and you can see I have a Project IGI, Fallout and Need for Speed most wanted. So you will need to place your game files inside the down folder which acts as D drive. To open any folder just double click on it then run the exe file. It will start installing games like on PC. A shortcut will be created on the desktop. Wow guys you can see that I have successfully run the Project IGI which is a PC game on my Android phone with the help of Mobox emulator but I noticed that there are no control keys. Now let's set up our controls because Mobox doesn't come with built-in controller. That's why we will need to use the input bridge application which we already installed. So launch the input bridge application. Click on the plus icon to create a new profile. If it asks for permission to notify simply click on the yes button. At the top bar you can see an icon like this click on it if you want to see live appears enable show x input appears and enable rumble now click on the edit controls here we have to create our own control layout first click on the location where you want to put the case then click on the create control element and here you have to select the type of the case it could be buttons cross or sticks let's take a stick for the right control you have also settings for opacity and option for resize the case you can change the position of case at any time by dragging now i'm going to add the X, Y, A and B keys and resize and plus them. Let's add left stick and a cross. You can also change the shape of the case to be rectangular. So guys you can see how I'm creating my control layout. If you like it just take a screenshot and copy it. When everything is set up, let's back to the Tarmax application. You can see I'm playing Project IGI on my Android. I'm using my customized control. It's definitely a awesome experience. I can confidently say it's quite better than Exogear, even Winletto. Still some issues are available, but I think in the future the developer will fix them. If you want to watch more videos like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you need any type of information or help, you can join our discord server no more today see you in the next video take care